ಓಕ್ರತುಂಡ ಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿಸಮಪ್ರಭ್ಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಮೇ ದೇವ ಸರ್ವಕಾರ್ಯು ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯ ವರದೆ ಕಾಮಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಂಭ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಿರ್ಭವತು ಮೇ ಸದಾ ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವಲೋಕಾಷೇವರೋಗಿಧೇವಿದ್ಯಾಂ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವತ್ಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ದಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥಸ್ವಿಣ ತ್ವಾನ ಪ್ರಶಾಸ್ತಾರ ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಪರಂ ಪದಂ ಓ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿಧಾವಧಿ ತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಿ ಅಖಂಡ ಸಚ್ಚಿದ ಅಖಂಡ ಸಚ್ಚಿದಗೋಚರ ಅಖಿಲಾಧಾರಂಶ್ರಯೇಷ್ಟ ಗುರುನಾರಾಧ್ಯ ವೇದಾತ್ತ ಸಾರಂ ಪಕ್ಷೇ ಗಥಾಪತಿ ಗುರುನಾರಾಧ್ಯ ವೇದಾತ್ತ ಅನುಬಂಧ ಪ್ರಕೃತ ಪ್ರಕರಣ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಅಂಡರ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿಯಸ್ ಕರ್ಮ 
ಲೈಕ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ನೈಮಿತ್ತಿಕ ಪ್ರಾಯಶ್ಚಿತ್ತ ಉಪಾಸನ ಉಪಾಸನ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕರ್ಮ ಮಾನಸಂ ಕರ್ಮ ಕಾಯಿಕ ಕರ್ಮ ವಾಚಿಕ ಕರ್ಮ ಮಾನಸಂ ಕರ್ಮ ಸರ್ವಾಣಿ ಕರ್ಮಾಣಿ ಏ ಕ್ರಿಯತೆ ಇತಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡನ್ ದರ್ಫೋರ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಜನ್ಮನೆ ಜನ್ಮಾಂತರೆ ನಿರ್ಗತ ಸಾಧನ ಚತುಷ್ಟಯ ಸಂಪನ್ನ ಪ್ರಭಾತಿಷನ್ ನಿರ್ಗತ ನಿಖಿಲ ಕಲ್ಮಶತಯ ಕಲ್ಮಶ Kalmasha, it is, the word is there in the Shruti. Here the author himself, he quoted Pagya, which we have seen. I will show that Kamyani, Nishiddhani, Etani, Nishiddha Karmani, Anushteya Karmani, Nityani, Naimitikani, Prayas Chittani. ಏತಾನಿ ಕಾಯಿಕ ಕರ್ಮಾಣಿ ಉಪಾಸನಾಣಿ ಮಾನಸ ಕರ್ಮಾಣಿ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ತಪಸಾ ಕಲ್ಮಶಂ ಅಂತಿ ಕಲ್ಮಶಂ ಅಥವಾ ಶ್ರುತಿ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಕಲ್ಮಶಂ ಇಸ್ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಶಬ್ದ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಶಬ್ದ ವಿ ಆಥರೈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ನಿರ್ಗತ ನಿಖಿಲ ಕಲ್ಮಶತಯ we will read this this is what we are reading etesham etesham nityadinam nityadinam buddhishuddhis param prayojanam buddhishuddhis param prayojanam upasananam tu upasananam tu chittaikagrayam ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ವಿಧಿಶಂತಿ ಯಶ್ರುತೆ ಕಲ್ಮಶಂ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಕ್ಷಮಿತ ಸ್ಮೃತೆ ಮನುಸ್ಮೃತಿ ನಾಟ್ ಶ್ರುತಿ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ವಾಕ್ಯಂ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಲ್ಮಶಂ ನಿರ್ಗತ ನಿಖಿಲ ಕಲ್ಮಶತೆಯ line <coughs> presence the phalam the prayojanam the prayojanam of the karma etesha kesham etesha nitya etesha that is nitya dina vidya nimittika prayashita upasana nam etesha so nitya dina nitya dina prayojanam kim param prayojanam i told two fold prayojana two fold palam mukhya palam avantara palam 
primary result and secondary result. These karmas have two fold results. A drishtanta I give a mango tree. The mukhya palam of a mango tree is amra palam, amra palani. Avantara palam is chaya, shade, arganda. In the commentary, the author says here chaya, ganda. Nitya naimitti ke yoho. You can see that which is shaded in yellow color. Nitya naimitti ke yoho. Pitraloka pala prapti avantara palam. Upasana nam. Itsatya loka prapti iti vivekaha. Tadyata amre palarte nimitte. That is about Gita, Tadjita, Amre Palarte Nimitte, Chaya, Gandaviti, Anut Padjete, it is Murti, Utta, Chaya, Gandavata, Petraloka, Ripalas Yavan, Paratum, Anushan, Anushan, Tum, Tat Uddeshena, Nitya Dehe, Abidhana, Abidhana, Vividishas and Yoga Sitcher, Vidanat, Shuddeha Yeva, Mahapalatamiti Pavaha. Amre Palarte, that is Amra Vriksha. So Amre Nimitte Amra Vriksha. That is Mukya Palam. Avantara Palam. Avantara Palam, secondary or incidental Palam. That is not Mukya Palam, incidental. That is Chaya Ganda Iti. Tadvatira Atrapi. We are also the same way. Nitya Nimittika. Karma, karma, karma palam, mukhya palam, mukhya palam, param priyojanam. Param priyojanam is ultimate result, mukhya palam. Param priyojanam. That is buddhi shuddhi. Buddhi is antakkarana shuddhi. Chitta shuddhi. Chitta shuddhi. That is why the author said, Itanta nirumbala swantaha. Swantaha antakkarana. Antakaranam Itanta Nirbala Swantaha Iti Nirmala, free from Bala. That is Chitta Shuddhi Ragadvesha Ragitaha Antakaranaha Katambavati Karma Yogena Karbai Karma Yoga Karma Yoga in the form of observing Nitinamiti Gadi Karma, observing Panchamaha Yigna, etc. The author quoted the quoting from the Shuddhi. Tamayatamatanam Vedana Vachanena Brahmanaha Vividishanti Yignyena. So Yignyena Shuti Vakya. That is Yignyena, that is Karmana. Vitti Karma. Yignyena, the word represents Vitti Karma. Panchamaha Yajna. Vitti Nemiti Gari Karma. So Tam Yetam Atmanam Brahmanaha. Brahmanaha is Mukshavaha. Brahmanaha. The sadhakaha, vividishanti, vetum ichanti, vividishanti, sananta, desiring veditum ichanti, veditum ichanti, not vet, veditum vidatu, veditum ichanti, brahmanaha, sadhakaha, the seekers of knowledge, veditum ichanti, what tam etam atmanam. This Atma, this Prakrita Atma, the Atma which is the subject matter of the Shastram, Brahma, Atmanam, they desire to know. Veditum Ichanti desire to know. For which the means, indirect means, Yajnana, representing Nitya Karma. So this is the main Shruti Vachan for Karma Yoga. For Karmi Yoga, this is an important main vakyam. This vakyam by this vakyam, we say Karma Yogena. Karma, yo, karma Yogena. Karma Yogena Chitta Shuddhi. Chitta Shuddhi Anantaram. Then, Vedanta Vicharaha. Vedanta Vichara Yogyata Prapti Bhavati. The vakyam tam etam atmanam. This atma vedan vachanena 
Veda Anuvachaneda, in keeping with the words of the Shastram, Vedanta Anuvachaneda means Vedanta Vichare. Vedanta Vicharaha, Brahmanaha, Divideshanti Yajnana, Yajnana Yut, that is Karmana, Karma Yogena, Karma Yogena, Vedanta Vichara Yogyata Prapti, that is Chitta Shuddhi Vityartaha. Chitta Shuddhi, Vedanta Vichara Yogyata Prapti means Chitta Shuddhi. Yogyata, the capability, the ability, the ability to gain the vichara, the inquiry of the vakyas of the Veda is gained by Karma Yoga. So Karma Yoga is a means for Jnana Yoga Sadhanam. Therefore, so therefore, for Vedanta Vichara, the mind has to be re ready. The mind has to be steady and the mind has to be ready. For the readiness of the mind, for gaining the steadiness of the mind, Karma Yoga is important. That is why here Ignana. Up to Ignana only the author quotes Ignana. Ignana means Ignya, the word is there. Ignya means Karma Yoga. Panchamaha Ignana. It is Karma Yoga Piti. So therefore, Param Prayojanam Kim. Param Prayojanam is Yogyata Prapti. That is a Param Prayojanam. Param Prayojanam to Yogyata Prapti. Then what is Aparam Prayojanam? Avantara Palam that is going to be said in the next shloka. Fine. So Nityadena Buddhi Shuddhi Param Prayojanam Samyak. Then Upasananam Kim Prayojanam Chitta. Ekagriyam, that is Chitta Ekagrata, Chitta Samadhanam. So Upasanani Chitta Ekagriyam Prati Karana, Karanani Bhavanti. So Chitta Ekagriyam, Chitta Ekagriyam, that is, that is, that is the Param Priyajanam of Upasana. Tasyapi Avantara Palamasti. Tatkim, that also going to be said in the, the next line. So therefore, here the, the author says, Param Priyojanam. Param Priyojanam, Buddhi Shuddhi, Nityana, Nityani, Nityika, Adi Karma, 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 Nam, Param Priyojanam, Chitta Ikagriyantu, Upasananam, Mukhya Palam Kiti, and Tapasa Kalmashamanti. So this, this Shruti Vakyam and Shruti Vakyam by that, the importance of Karma Yoga, the author establishes. Karma Yoga is indispensable for a Sadaka. And that is established by Shruti Vakya as well as by Smriti Vakya. Tapasa Kalmasham Antiti Manusmriti Vakyam. So therefore here Mukhya Palam is discussed. And what about the Avandara Palam? That is the Next topic. And in the last class, we read from Vidhan Manoranjani a beautiful uh, a, uh, a sequence from Naishkar Mesut Divisa. Anyway, we will not discuss that today. We will continue. This is, this is from that we have to start. We will read this. Nitya Daimitika Yoho. Nitya Daimitika Yoho. Upasana nam tu. Upasana nam tu. Avantara palam. Avantara palam. Itruloka satyaloka prapti. Itruloka satyaloka prapti. Karmana pitruloka. Karmana pitruloka. Vidyaya deva loka. Vidyaya deva loka. Ityadi Shute Ityadi Shute For a Sadaka, for a Mukshu, Mukhya Palam is Mukhya Palam of Karma Yoga is Chitta Shuddhi, Upasana Chitta 
சித்தைக்காகரியம் அவாந்தர பலம் அவாந்தரம் பலம் இஸ் இன்சிடென்டல் ரிசல்ட் தி செகண்டரி ரிசல்ட் யதா சாயா கந்தவத் நித்ய நைமித்திக யோகோ உபாசனான நித்ய நைமித்திக யோகோ ஷஷ்டி விபக்தி விவேச்சனம் நித் நித்ய 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 நித்தியம் ச நைமித்திக்கம் ச தயோகோ நித்ய நைமித்திக்கம் நித்தியம் கர்ம நித்திய கர்ம நைமித்திக்கம் கர்ம நைமித்திக் நைமித்திக கர்ம நிமித்த பூர்வக்கம் கர்ம நைமித்திக்க நித்திய நைமித்திக யோகோ தயோகோ உபாசனாம் ததா உபாசனாம் து கிம் பிரயோஜனம் அப்பறம் பிரயோஜனம் அவாந்தர பலம் டு அவாந்தர பலம் அவாந்தர பலம் இஸ் செகண்டரி ரிசல்ட் இன்சிடென்டல் ரிசல்ட் பித்ருலோக சத்தியலோக பிராப்தி பிராப்தி அட்டைன்மெண்ட் கெய்னிங் கர்மணா பித்ருலோகா வித்யா தேவலோகா இதுதாரண்யக உபனிஷத் இயர் கர்மணா பித்ருலோகா பை கர்மணா தட் இஸ் நித்திய நைமித்திக கர்ம கர்மபியா இது கர்மா தட் இஸ் கர்மயோ தட் இஸ் தீஸ் கர்மாஸ் நாட் கர்மயோகா இயர் அப்சவன்ஸ் ஆஃப் நித்திய நைமித்திய கர்மா ஆல் தி விகித்த கர்மாஸ் வேத விகித்த கர்மா பெர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் ஆஃப் விச் ஹெல்ப் இன் கெய்னிங் த லோகா த வேர்ல்ட் பித்ருலோகா பித்ருலோக சத்தியலோகாதி பிராப்தி பித்ருலோகா இது ஸோ கர்மணா பித்ருலோகா ஸ்ருதி வாக்கியம் தென் வித்யா தேவலோகா பித்ருலோகா இஸ் டோன் பிலோ தேவலோகா that is devalok that is a gradation in terms of in terms of the the anubhava that is a gradation pitruloka karma takes a person to pitruloka observance of nitya nimitta karma secondary result you have to remember this is avantara palam avantara palam is pitruloka prapti and mukhya palam already we have seen chitta shuddhi similarly for upasana mukhya palam chitta சித்தை காகரியம் அவாந்தர பலம் செகண்ட் ரிசல்ட் இஸ் தேவலோக பிராப்தி பட் வேர் இஸ் உபாசனா இன் தி ஸ்ருதி கொட்டேஷன் வித்யா த வேர்ட் வித்யா மீன்ஸ் உபாசனா த வேர்ட் வித்யா இஸ் உபாசனா தட் இஸ் வை வி நீட் தி சப்போர்ட் ஆஃப் பாஷ்யகாரா அவுட் வி நோ வித்யா இஸ் உபாசனா ஒன்லி த்ரூ பாஷ்யம் வித்யா இஸ் நாட் ஞானம் இயர் vidya is gyan if vidya is gyanam then gyanena devalokaha it means contradicting with contradicting with the other vakyams of the upanishad gyanena mokshaha gyana devatu kaivalyam shuti vakyam gyana devatu kaivalyam so therefore if by gyan that is gyan by through gyanam only kaivalyam moksha is gained so gyanam is a means for moksha therefore vidya devaloka means vidya gyanam will take, take to devaloka that is contradictory therefore vidya should not be taken as gyanam here vidya means upasanam upasana that is karma only upasana also it's a karma it's a manasam karma karmatva because it is a karma karma is parichinnam karma is limited therefore palam also will be limited because it is produced because it is produced that which is produced subject to limitation that which is produced will perish in time because it is produced by karma you produce something something new and the nature of that would be would be 
would be in keeping with the Karanam. So, Karan, that is Yatha Karanam Tata Karyam. Karya is the result is Loka Prapti, Pitru Loka Prapti, Deva Loka Prapti. Gained through what? Karma. karma. The nature of Karma is the nature of karma is it is anitya it is not it is parichinna it is limited because it is because of because it is performed performed by sharira manasangata they are limited so with the limited means you cannot gain the unlimited ends if there is something unlimited purnam that has to be swarupa of oneself so therefore by yukti, we can understand that vidya here cannot mean jnanam. Vidya is upasana. Therefore, loka praptihi. The word loka, lokyate, anubhuyate, iti lokaha. Loka means the place of experience. So, as this loka in buloka, there is experience of the vishayas with the karana sharita mana sangata similarly in the, in other loka other lokas also one gains experience and there are gradations of experience because there is experience experience is there means there must be a karanam there must be instrument through the instrument you experience because it is experienced Therefore, it has to be limited. Anything which is experienced is subject to time, it's subject to limitation. So, Pitruloka and Devaloka also subject to limitation. Anubhuya Manatvat. The Hetu is because it is experienced. That which is ever experienced, not subject, is that is not subject to limitation. If that is, if there is any something, if there is any anything something which is ever experienced, that has to be oneself. In fact, it is not experienced. It is the experiencer. It is a swarupa of the experiencer. That has to be purnam, and that purnam, that which is purnam, cannot be gained. If it is gained, that also becomes limited. Therefore, it's a problem. Therefore, that which is complete, that which is purnam, it is not. Gained by karma. It is not gained by upasana. Why? Siddha vishayatvat. It is siddha. Therefore, here vidya meaning upasana only. So, therefore, upasana nam avantar palam devaloka praptihi iti. And nitya remite kya yogo. That is karma nam palam avantar palam pitraloka praptihi. Pitraloka praptihiti. Sat Pitraloka Satya Loka Praptihi. See, Nintiri Mitika Yogo, Avantara Balam Pitraloka Prapti. Upasanana, Satya Loka Praptihi, Deva Loka Prapti. Deva Loka Prapti, that is Shuddhi quotation is there. So gaining the loka. The result of the resultant, the secondary result of performing karma and upasana is loka prapti, pitraloka prapti, and deva loka prapti. Respectively, iti. So, Avantara Palam is, is quote mentioned here. Whereas, whereas Brahmanaha, Sadakaha, for them, their intention or their goal is Chitta Shuddhi. So, for them, the karma is a means for Chitta Shuddhi. Jnana Yogita Prapti, Vedanta Vichara Yogita Prapti. And upasana chitta ekagri. Whereas for the others, this avantaram palam becomes a mukya palam. For the, the other people, that is for the prayers, prayasaha, for the seekers of the pleasant, those who want arthakama, dharma arthakama, those who are after dharma arthakama purusha, for them, this avantaram palam becomes a mukya palam. Whereas for a sadaka, Mukya palam is Chitta Shuddhi, Chitta Shuddhi Praptihi, Chitta Aikagriya Praptihi. That is their Mukya palam, Param Prayojanam of this karma. So that you can see the, the difference in the, the palam, the status of this palam 
with regard to the performers, with regard to the, the performers of the karma. If the performers of the karma upasana is sadhaka, then the mukya palam is chitta shuddhi and chitta chitta ikadrata. If the performer of the karma is, is, is a prayers, prayasaha, prayaha, then tabandara palam becomes a mukya palam. So it is fine. So it all depends on who the performer is. That makes a difference. That makes a difference in gaining the, the palam. So avantara palam, mukya palam, yes, the author has mentioned. Then, then comes sadhanani. The next topic is sadhanani. Why sadhanani should be talked about? Because sadhana chatushtaya sampannaha pramata adhikari, the definition from the definition of adhikari, all the words we are seeing that author explains each and every word of the definition of the adhikari. In the definition, nitya, naimitika, kamya, nishida, upasana, everything seen and the result of those also we have we have seen. Now, the sadhana chatushtaya sampannaha, the technical word is there. In that sadhana is there, that very word the author explains. We are very, very much familiar with sadhana chatushtaya sampranti. Even then, we will see. It's very important. Sadhanam, sadhanani. From the word sadhana chatushtaya sampannaha, he takes the word sadhana and explains what it is. Sadhanani kani kiti. Let us read. Sadhanani. Sadhanani. Nitya nitya vastu viveka. Nitya nitya vastu viveka. Iha mutrartha palabhoga viraga. Iha mutrartha palabhoga viraga. Shama rishatka sampatti. Shama rishatka sampatti. Umukshutvani. In one line, yes, define sadhanani. Sadhyate anena iti sadhanam. The definition is sadhyate anena iti sadhanam. The means of gaining. That is called sadhana. Sadhya, sadhana, sadhaka. Sadhanam for the sadhaka to gain this sadhya. After gaining the sadhya, then it becomes siddha. Therefore, to become the Siddha for the Sadhaka, who as a Sadhyam, the Sadhanas are required. Tani Kani, that is what here the author mentions. So we will take one by one. Here, just here is, is mentioning. Yes, yes, just mentions Sadhanani Kani. What are the means? Nitya Nitya Vastu Vivekaha, that is Pratama Sadhanam. Ikha mutra arta palabhoga viraga vidya sadhanam. Shamadi shatka sampatti ghi. In the shatka sampatti, six folds. Shatkam. A group of six is putting as one. That is tritiya sadhanam. And mumukshutvam. That is chatutta sadhanam. Iti. This four fold, the four, the, the means are of four. That is no choice. Everything is required. All the sadhanam has to be present in the person. Therefore, sadhana chatushtaya sampanna. Chatushtayam, the four. Nitya nitya vastu viveka one. Ika mutrata palaboga ha number two. Shamadi shatkaha shatka sampatti number three. Pumukshutta number four. Therefore, chatushtayam. This is the chatushtayam. So, sadhana chatushtayam. And this is, these are the sampatti. In fact, this is, this is a real wealth. What is a real wealth? This is a real wealth. This is a real wealth for a sadhaka. In fact, it should be the wealth for everyone. Because any other wealth is subject to subject to coming and going. They are agama payinaha in the words of Gita. They come and go. Whereas this sadhana chatushtaya sampatti, these fourfold qualifications, which makes a person adhikari, this is a deserving candidate for Vedanta pursuit. 
not only for Vedanta pursuit, even to be a sane person is fourfold qualifications are indispensable, even in a relative measure. Even in a these qualities, qualities present in a person in a relative measure that helps the person to be a sane person dealing with the world. So therefore, here since the goal is moksha and the person is jignasu, omukshu, therefore these are the, the qualification, prerequisites to be present in the adhikar. So here he has just mentioned, mentioning, the author mentions the qualification. What are they that the author himself will explain? So sadhana nikani, these are the sadhana Then among them, what is nitya, nitya nitya vastu vekaha? Again, the, to, the, 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 author, the author has to explain what is viveka. For viveka, what is nitya? What is a nitya? Everything has to be explained. That is what the author is going to do. Let us read the next one. Nitya nitya vastu vivekaha. Nitya nitya vastu vivekaha. Tavat. Tavat. Brahmaiva nityam vastu. Brahmaiva nityam vastu. Ataha anyat akhilam. Ataha anyat akhilam. Anityam iti vivechanam. Anityam iti vivechanam. Vivechanam vivekaha. Nitya nitya vastu vivekaha, the vivekaha vivechanam discriminative knowledge. Nitya vastu ekam brahma, we have seen tattva bora, tadanyata sarvam anityam, the same thing here also. Here, brahma eva nityam vastu. We use the word vastu. Vastu means object, things. But in the context of Vedanta, when we use the word vastu, we have to be little alert. Vastu means Brahma. Vastu, avastu. Vastu is Brahma, avastu is that which is not Brahma. That is, avastu is Nityam Brahma, avastu is Jagat. Brahma Satyam, Jagan Mitya. Avastu is Mitya, this Jagat. Mitya Jagat. So here the author says, Nitya 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 anitya vastu vivekaha tavat purvokta chaturushu sadhaneshu nitya nitya vastu vivekaha pratama 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 sadhana tatkim nitya vastu brahma ekam brahma kevalam ekam brahma tataha anyata tat bidnam different from that Vastu, Brahma, Kevalam, Ekam, Brahma, that is Nityam. Different from that, Anyata, Tataha, Anyata, Tataha is Panchami, different from that. Tadbinnam, Tadbinnam, Sarvam, Akilam, Sarvam, Akilam is Sarvam. No leftover, everything other than this is what? Anityam, Tataha, Anyata, Sarvam, Anityam, Iti, Vivechanam, Iti, Vivechanam, this bodaha, this vivekaha is nitya nitya vastu vivekaha. In the Viveka Chudamani, Vashakara Shankaracharya says, Vivekino viraktasya shamadi guna shalinaha umokshore vahi brahma jignyasa yogyatha mata. The fourfold qualifications is mentioned in that first vivekinaha. Vivekinaha, then viraktasya, shamadi guna shalinaha, mumukshoho, brahma jignyasa yogyata mata. The fourfold qualifications have to be present in the person by which he gains a yogyata. What yogyata for what? Brahma jignyasa, that is Vedanta vichara. Atatho Brahma Jignasa. In that, the first sutram of the Brahma, Brahma Sutra, Atato, the word Atha. Atha means sadhana chatushti, 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 chadhana chatushtaya pratyanantaram. 
after gaining the adhikaritvam that is the word that is the meaning of the word atha atha is anantaram vidyartaha paschat atha to atha ataha brahma jignasa kartavya brahma jignasa brahma is vedanta veda vedanta vichara vicharaha kartavya after gaining the qualification after gaining the qualification therefore thereafter athato brahma jignasa brahma jignasa kartavya therefore brahma jignasa yogyata prapti praptyartam this sadhana chatushtaya sampatti is indispensable in that brahma satyam jagan mitya again in vivek chatur mani shankara charya says brahma satyam jagan mitya ityevam roopo nischaya soyam nitya nitya vastu vivekah samudagatah brahma satyam jagan mitya this jagat is mitya jagat is avastu therefore what is vastu what is satyam brahma eva satyam so satya mitya vivekah nitya nitya vastu vivekah sat that which is satyam is nityam that which is mitya is anityam mitya is nama roopa nama roopa prapancha that anything which is which has the which is subject to change which is subject to limitation that is mitya mitya is subject to limitation space wise time wise or even object wise the presence of second object limits the object so deshatah kalatah vastu vastuta vastutah it is parichinnah it is parichinnah that which is parichinnah that which is apur apurnam that is mitya that is anityam that which is mitya is anityam that which is not subject to any limitation desha kala vastu aparichinnah atma brahma that is mitya so this understanding this understanding is mitya nitya vastu vivekah this is the de- definition of the term vivekah vivechana but we will see little more this definition is for the person who is well informed about the shastra but before this before this viveka he needs another important viveka that is a basis that is a basis that is purushartha viveka in fact nityanitya vastu viveka can be explained through purushartha viveka purushartha what is purushartha purushaihi artyate prapyate prartyate iti purushartha that which is sought after by the purusha by the human beings that is called purushartha we translate as goals human goals what is aspired by the human beings that is a purushartha so everyone is after something and after something that can be put into four dharma artha kama moksha there are seekers of artha artha meaning security and security in the form of the wealth in the form of gaining objects security in the form of gaining status in the form of recognition it could be anything security one wants to be secure and kama kama is comfort seekers of comfort and sometimes artha not sometimes artha is also sought after for kama so they are connected artha kama artarthi kamarthi those who are after artha they are artarthi those who are the pursuer of karma they are kamarthi and the shastram says you be a kamarthi you be a you be artarthi but have dharma as a basis so dharma is first dharma artha kama in keeping with dharma one can pursue artha kama there is no problem so dharma and there are 
people who pursue dharma for their for their personal for their growth personal growth maturity or for gaining the other loka dharma meaning punyam they gain punyam because they want to enjoy the or encash the punyam in some other loka in swarga loka etc so therefore dharma dharma meaning karma in that sense dharma meaning karma in that sense they do karma gain punyam for gaining the, the loka the loka like swarga loka etc for experience for sukha anubhava sukha anubhava and dharma in meaning the order dharma meaning the order dharma meaning the harmony dharma meaning in keeping with the in keeping in in keeping with the the order of the ishvara not violating the what the shastram says following the 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 codes of conduct following the the rules living a life of harmony that is dharma so dhar keeping dharma as a basis having dharma as a basis one can seek artha and kama that is accepted acceptable by the shastram so that is dharma artha kama but if you analyze the purusha artha artha kama these two are the main pursuit if you analyze every one who seeks artha or kama really not seeking artha and kama what they are seeking to artha kama is they want freedom freedom from being insecure freedom from being unhappy nobody wants unhappiness nobody wants to have dukkham and nobody wants to suffer nobody wants to be insecure so what they really seek is security freedom from insecurity freedom from unhappiness that is what is moksha is so for moksha is freedom and that is not gainable through gaining of objects or people or things the one who has this viveka understands the nature of the pursuit that person is is a viveki who has got purusharatta viveka he understands the purpose of even the purpose of artha kama really is not for the artha kama it is for moksha therefore he strives for moksha so understanding the the nature of the pursuit of artha kama dharma artha kama that is those pursuit fetches only those pursuit fetch only anitya vastu but what is really sought after is brahma only that is nitya vastu that is moksha therefore this viveka is called purushartha viveka the purushartha viveka is the basis for a person to enter into vedanta so this purushartha viveka this has to be very clear purushartha nischaya purusha purushartha nischaya purushartha viveka so therefore here in the vakyam nitya nitya means that is moksha moksha purushartha anitya is dharmartha kama purushartha therefore between the two purusharthas and saying two purushartha dharmartha kama putting as one purushartha that is prayas and moksha is shreyas therefore shreyas prayaso so shreyas prayaso ho understanding the nature of the pursuit of prayas and shreyas one gets a clarity one as viveka because of viveka he has done homework he has done vichara that is why we say pariksha loka mundaka upanishad says we have seen pariksha lokan karma chitan brahmana nirvedama yat lokan pariksha having analyze loka not only this loka the experience or which are gained in this loka can be extended to the experiences which are gainable in other loka eta iga tata amutra because of being a loka because of being that being a place a place means a place you reach and their objects will be there and you have you interact with the objects or the people 
and gain experience. Anubhava. So, yata iha anubhava tata api. Therefore, lokan pariksya. Pitra loka, deva loka, or brahma loka. Pariksya, lokan pariksya. Analyzing the, the loka. Loka is lokyate anena iti anubhava. Analyzing the experiences, one comes to the clear understanding that they are anitya. They are anitya that will not really make me secure, that will not really give me the happiness, and that is myself, that is only gainable through jnanam. Therefore, therefore, only the Upanishad says, Pariksha Lokan Karmachita Brahmanaha Nirvedam Ayat, he gains Vairagya. So, Pariksha Lokan is Viveka and the resultant of the Viveka is Vairagya, Nirveda Mayat, Nasti Akrutaha Kritena, Akrutaha Mokshaha Kritena Karmanana Bhavati. The freedom is not gainable by doing. Therefore, the freedom has to be the Swarupa of oneself. So, this is the Viveka, Purushartha Viveka. That Purushartha Viveka is the basis for the Vedanta Shravanam. Therefore, Nitya Nitya Vastu Vivekaha. To, for the person who is well informed, this definition holds good. Is, is, and here it is fine. Nitya Nitya Vastu Viveka, here the definition is fine for an Adhikari. Why? Because Adhikari is, is Apatataha, Adhikataha, Vedartaha already. The author has defined. He has got the general understanding of the Veda. Yes. Vedartaha. Yes. Studied Veda in general. Understands in general. He has not done Vichara, but he knows. He has come across the word Brahma, etc. Therefore, for him, for the, therefore, from the standpoint of the Adhikari, which is mentioned in this Grantha, this definition holds good. Brahma Satyam, Ekam Brahma Nityam. That is a vastu nitya vastu anyata sarva anityam iti. Whereas in general, nitya nitya vastu viveka is purushartha viveka. Analyzing the purushartha, the, the pursuit, analyzing the purpose of the pursuit, and coming to this understanding that artakama pursuit will not give really what I seek in life. Therefore, is mind or his actions or his lifestyle completely turns to moksha. So he performs or he pursues artakama in keeping with dharma for the sake of moksha. The person who, who does, who follows, is a viveki because he has understood the limitations of the purushartha, limitations of dharma artakama purushartha. So the one who has done vivechanam, who has done the analysis, Pariksha, Lokan Pariksha, and have come to the understanding that these are the Anitya Purushartha, Anitya Palatvat, he gives Anitya Palam, Dharma Kama, and Nitya Palatvat, Mokshaha Yeva, Purushartha, that is the Purushartha. There is nothing, there is, there is no other Purushartha. In fact, Moksha is the only Purushartha. That Arthakama also meant for really moksha only. Because in and through all the purushartha, what the person wants to gain is freedom only. This analysis, this homework, the one who has done, that, that person is a viveki. He has done vivechanam. So purushartha vivekaha iti. That is a real definition of viveka. Real definition in the sense for the people who have not studied the Veda. Veda means Veda Purva and Vedanta, the whole Veda. The whole Veda is who has studied Veda in the modern world. So, therefore, for the, the seekers of the modern world, who, are, who is not really exposed to the entire Veda, for them, the definition of Viveka is Purushartha Viveka. So, Nitya is Moksha Purushartha, Anitya is Dharmartha Kama Purushartha. Tayoho. Tayoho, the, the Vivechanam. 
vivechanam vivechanam is something bichar datu vivichya having analyzed having examined that is what pariksha is vivichya pariksha same meaning vivechanam pariksha loka is experience experience so analyzing the experience understanding the the nature of the result of the purushartha one comes to the firm understanding that nitya purushartha or nitya vastu nitya vastu moksha is the purushartha parma purushartha it is that is the that is the purushartha viveka the person who has purushartha viveka for them moksha is a priority all the other things will subserve the moksha purushartha one's lifestyle the lifestyle of the sadhaka should be that moksha being the priority and other purushartha subserving that the difference between a mumukshu the difference between a mumukshu and non mumukshu is is the difference in this pursuit for a mumukshu for moksha is a priority other purushartha subserving for a non mumukshu artha kama becomes a priority and moksha is not at all there in the list that's the difference between a spiritual and a worldly person the worldly person is ignorant person there is a spiritual person a informed person he understands he has done enough homework therefore he has a viveka now this viveka is gained what is the resultant of this viveka viveka is vairagyam ayat nirvedam ayat in the language of mundaka upanishad so that is the next definition vairagyam let us see here the author gives a beautiful definition aihika naam aihika naam srakchandana vanitaadi vishaya bhogana आमुष्मिका विरतिरा पदार्थेभ्य विराग वैराग्यम सो वेन विवेका इज पुषार्थ विवेका इज the resultant or the result of purushartha viveka is one with, with withdraws or one makes the dharmartha kama purushartha very clearly because of clear understanding makes it subso moksha purushartha so therefore the resultant would be vairagya vairagya means dispassion object objective objectivity against objectivity he understands the nature of the pursuit nature of the padartha nature of the anitya padartha anitya padartha so therefore is vyapara is interaction will be objective is goal being moksha therefore nitya padarthe byaha viragaha objectivity that is called vairagya so here the, the author beautifully defines that is aikikana aikikana means that is iha aikika aikika is tadita word aikika is tadita 
வைராகியம் அகிகானமீன்ஸ் இக இக லோகே இக லோகா அகி இக இக மீன்ஸ் இந்த ஸ்லோகா இக லோகே இந்த ஸ்லோகா அகிகானம் ஆஃப் திஸ் லோகா வாட் லோகா இக லோகா திஸ் லோகா திஸ் வேர்ல்ட் திஸ் பூலோகா திஸ் பிருத்திவி அகிகானம் சிரக் சந்தன வனிதாதி விஷய போகானம் சிரக் சந்தன வனிதா சிரக் மீன்ஸ் மாலா சந்தன மீன்ஸ் சாண்டில் சாண்டில் பேஸ்ட் சந்தனம் வனிதா வனிதா இஸ் உமன் ஆதி எஸ் வனிதா இஸ் உமன் சோ திஸ் இஸ் ஃபார் த மென் ஃபார் த உமன் வி ஹேவ் டு ரீப்ளேஸ் வனிதா பை புருஷா வி ஹேவ் டு சேஞ்ச் இட் the shastra explain this from the standpoint of the purusha from the standpoint of the male and if the reader is a female replace vanita by purusha so srak chandana purusha adi okay anyway vanita is woman adi vishaya bhoga naam aigika naam aigika iha bhagah aigika is a tadita word aigika naam iha bhagah aigika aigika ஐகிகா அண்ட் சஷ்டி பக்தி பகுவச்சனம் ஐகிகானாம் ஐகிகா ஐகிகௌ ஐகிகா கேன் பி டிக்ளைன் சோ ஐகிகானாம் ஆஃப் திஸ் வேர்ல்ட் சிரச்சந்தன வனிதாதி விஷய போகானாம் த போகா த பிளஷர்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் வேர்ல்ட் ஐகிகானாம் த பிளஷர்ஸ் இன் தி இன் தி ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் சிரச்சந்தன வனிதா ஆதி ஆதி பதார்த் யூ கேன் பிரிங் ஆல் தி अदर போகா ஆல் தி अदर போகா விஷய போகானாம் விஷயபோகாமெண்ட் விச் ஆர் என்ஜாய்ட் த்ரூ தி த்ருதி த்ருதி அனித்ய புருஷார்த்த தர்மார்த்த காம புருஷார்த்த வி கேன் டேக் ஆர் த ரிசல்டன்ட் ஆஃப் கர்மா சோ எனி விஷய விஷய இஸ் அ கர்ம பலம் கர்ம பலம் ஆஃப் கர்ம கர்ம பலம் ஆஃப் எனி கர்ம த கர்மா இஸ் டன் வித் த கோல் ஆஃப் பிளஷர் வித் தி வித் தி கோல் ஆஃப் பிளஷர் பிளஷர் ஆர் அர்த்த தட் இஸ் காம ஆர் அர்த்த தட் ஃபார் ஒன்லி இஸ் அர்த்த பல அர்த்த காம so therefore arthapala bhogah arthapala bhoganam karma janyataya they are born of karma karma janyata karma janyataya anityatvam so the bhogas in the form of srakchandan vanita etc these vishayas which are gainable or gained in this world they are of the nature anitya anityatvam why karma janyataya karma janyataya because it has a status of being gained or born through karma karma janyataya they are born of karma therefore anityatvam the very word phalam phalam is what phalgataya liyate iti phalam that which perishes that is called phalam even phalam phalam fruit the, the meaning of amra phalam any palam it, why they are called the palam because they perishes perishes in time that which perishes palgotaya liyate iti palam yata palam yata palam nashyati like amra palam etc similarly karma janya palam api similarly api karma janya palam therefore karma palam therefore it's called palam the result of karma like the palam like the fruit the result of karma perishes therefore the result result of karma is called karma palam why it is called palam palgotaya liyate iti palam karma janyatva because it is born of karma karma being limited karma being parichinna performed in time performed in place therefore it is finite in nature therefore the resultant of that would be 
anitya only therefore anitya tom that is why the word also palam is the karma palam why it is karma palam palam is palgotaya liyate that it perishes in time that is why it is called palam moksha palam we say there it is moksha palam that palam is not uh, liyate perishes in time moksha is permanent so that palam is not in this sense or simply we can call moksha so the very word karma palam tells you that karma palam is anit of the nature of anitya anityatvam karma karmanah anityatvam asti why karma janyatvam asti karma janyatvam asti atah because it is born of karma therefore it is anti anitya anityavat so srakchandana vanita adi vishaya bhoganam these are gained through karma therefore anitya anityavat then amushmikanam evam amushmikanam amushmikanam means the other world which is in the form of amruta adi vishaya bhoganam the vishaya the objects bhoga the enjoyment the objects of enjoyment in the form of amruta amruta adi vishaya amruta is nectar that uh, nectar means the drinking nectar one becomes one becomes free from death that is not the that is uh, that's really not the nectar amruta means it is gnanam amruta meaning gnanam but here amruta is even the amruta the devaloka that amruta which gives you a, a long life a long youth that is amruta it's a drink of the devaloka that is how we have to take amruta adi so we have to we should not take amruta means that amruta is the drinking which a person becomes immortal that is not the amruta here amruta is a the bhoga vishaya which is available in the other loka so am amruta adi vishaya bhoga na anityataya why he says that is also anitya because amushmika the other loka yatha ika tata amutra that that loka also is subject to limitation why because there is vishaya bhoga there is experience of vishaya in this loka iha loke api vishaya bhoga asti इह लोके विषय भोग यथ लोके विषय भोग तमुष्मिक विषय भोग भोग आमुष्मिक मीन अमुष्मीन भव अमुष्मीन भव अमुष्मीन भवे अमुष्मीन लोक अमुष्मीन भवे लोक आमुष्मिक आमुष्मिक अभेदीत वर्ड अमुष्मीन भवे लोक आमुष्मिक other world so the bhogas the pleasures which are enjoyed in the other world like amrita etc that also has a status of being anitya anityataya 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 is anityata that is status of being anityam why because it is it is experienced that which is experienced has to be anityam that which is because it is experienced that which is experience is subject to limitations because of the very fact it is experience it is experienceable anything which is experienced is anitya only artha kama is experienced therefore anitya moksha is moksha is not something to be experienced it is nitya vastu it is ever experiencer it is not even an object it is not a vishaya it is not a bhoga vishaya it is a swarupa vishaya it is atmananda not vishayananda therefore it is not a, a bhoga vishaya whereas other than that everything is bhoga vishaya whether or, let it be of this world or other world therefore tebhyah tebhyah referring to ihaloka bhoga as well as आमुष्मिक विषय भोग तेभ्य तेभ्य नितरा विरति विरति 
ram ram dhatu means ram is kridaya ram kridaya virati is opposite to the dhatu dhatu rata that is viramaha that is viratihi detached itaram sitihi completely withdrawn from the the pursuit of vishaya bhoga of iha loka as well as vishaya bhoga of the other loka amrdadi vishaya bhoga nam anityataya aigika nam karma janyataya anityatva anityatvat anitya anityavat amushpika nam api anityataya dahor tebhya viratihi tebhya viratihi vairagya viratihi vairagyam viragah viragasya bhavah vairagyam viratihi viraga detached from that not out of hatred here we have to note that is why viveka is important why we say vairagya follows viveka is but only when vairagya is preceded by viveka that vairagyam is a real vairagyam otherwise the vairagyam becomes markata vairagyam or smashana vairagyam the dispassion what you gains what you gain when there is a sudden unpleasant things happening in your life because of that also a person become a vairagi but that is temporary that's called smashana vairagyam seeing a person being buried being burnt in the smashana a person may get vairagyam that will not last for long it is temporary that is not born of vairagya it is born of hatred or it is born of that the person doesn't want to experience therefore that vairagya is not the real vairagya the, the that vairagya which is preceded by viveka viveka vichara that is the vairagya and that is what is talked about that is why we use the word objectivity very clearly understanding the nature of the objects which are gained through this karma the purushartha understanding of the nature of that therefore withdrawing from those pursuit withdrawing from that or or only as much attention or as much importance given to those pursuit which are required subserving the moksha purushartha that is the viveka so therefore therefore vairagya which is preceded by viveka that is what is talked about here so purushartha viveka nitya nitya vastu viveka followed by the viratihi nitaram viratihi viragah vairagyam so vairagyam is a product of viveka vairagyam is the product therefore both are required only viveka not enough only vairagya that vairagya could be a smashana vairagya temporary vairagya therefore that alone is not sufficient therefore both are required viveka vairagya byam both are required and the vairagya also has to be tibra vairagya not manda vairagya tibra vairagya that alone is the sadhanam for vedanta vichara so one can pursue to pursue the study of shastram only when the person has clear understanding discriminative understanding of the things and objectivity therefore vairagyam tibra vairagyam not manda vairagya not smashana vairagya and that is that vairagya is gained through the viveka analyzing the vishayas bhoga vishayas which are gained in this loka as well as in the other loka because those days karmata they perform karma for gaining the swarga loka karmata for them swarga loka is moksha gaining swarga loka is moksha swarga loka praptyartam karma kurvanti karmata therefore we have to tell them also this loka also like iha loka only therefore te vyah viratihi viragha iti therefore nitaram nitaram viratihi completely nitaram is completely viratihi viramanam vairagyam iha mutra ata palaboha viragha that is the meaning of the word iha amut mutra iha aihika amutra amushmika artha pala boga artha pala boga is vishaya boga artha pala boga is vishaya boga 
and vishaya bhoga are enjoyed or are gained through karma karma janyataya anityatvam therefore understanding their anitya and therefore withdrawing from that that is called viragah vairagyam iti so among the sadhana chatushtayam the first two sadhanam very important sadhanam the first is viveka and viveka born vairagya that is mentioned then comes the samadhi shakka sampatti we will see that in the next class and we will also read from विद्वन मनोरंजनी ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णविधम पूर्णात पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवा विशिष्यते ओम शान्ति 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 हि हरि हि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि हि ओम धन्यवाद धन्यवाद गुरुजी धन्यवाद हरि धन्यवाद धन्यवाद आज